Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. From the great folks at Spray Gunner, we have a brand new compressorless airbrush under the no name brand. Now, Spray Gunner released a brush about two years ago, and it was a pretty good brush and it did great work. This one here is more powerful and it's a little bit lighter to handle. But we've got a few surprises up our sleeve with this brush. So go ahead and grab your favorite adult beverage and join along with today's review of this brand new airbrush from Spray Gunner under the no name brand. Let's go ahead and continue with today's review. Let's go ahead and open up the brush. Here you've got your manual or and your instructions here. It's got a very good explanation of everything that comes in the brush and with the brush. It's uh, got an electric display to let you know that the brush is on. It powers up with a USB type cable. That's how you charge it up. And it takes approximately two hours to charge. Now there are two speeds on this airbrush and we'll go into that in just a moment. But it goes into the operating instructions. It goes into how to clean it. It's got some troubleshooting tips and it's got some basic information on the brush itself. Let's go ahead and continue here. Here's the airbrush itself. Now when I said it was lighter, what I meant was that it's a lot easier to handle. Now the handle in the back was metal, but it is now, this section here is made of plastic now. Very easy to take apart and maintain. The brush itself is heavy, and when I mean heavy, I mean it's heavy duty as far as the components that it's made out of. It's got a little rubber cap for it for when you uh, store it. Let's go ahead and take that off and that cap just protects your needle tip which is really cool. Now here is where your cap goes, your reservoir. It's got a little rubber o-ring in there to seal it up and that screws in very easy just like so. Now what's really cool about that is when you want to clean the brush you just take that off and you can get in there a little bit easier so that's pretty neat. Okay. Here is the compressor unit itself. It's a little bit lighter than before, but it's, it works better. It feels more heavy duty, okay? Here's your charging port on the side. That's where your USB cable goes. And there's no more lights on the bottom like in the one that was there before. But it does have your, your speed adjustment here with your button. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will attach the airbrush to the compressor itself. It's got a little o-ring on the bottom of that also to help seal it up with the unit. Now here's where your, your light comes on when you turn it on. If you push the button, and that's how it works. Just push down and it starts. Now if you push the button again at the bottom, the pressure's greater. Now this averages between 25 and 30 pounds of pressure and it will last for approximately 45 minutes on a charge. So that is really big improvement over the last brush. But that just lets you know that the brush has been operational and it will go off in a certain amount of time. Let's set this off to the side and see what else is in the box. Here you've got another reservoir for a larger amount of paint. This will go in place of the cap here. It just screws into the bottom. And it's a really big reservoir for whatever you want to paint. So that works out really well. But that comes with the kit also. Here you've got your USB cable. This plugs into the bottom of the unit, like so. And then you plug in your USB cable to your charging source. And again, it takes approximately two hours to come to a full charge. So that's pretty good. It also comes with a cleaning kit, a small wrench for your tip, and a little pipette. 
which you'll use up pretty quick depending on what you put in there. But um, that's what comes with the kit right there. Let's go ahead and set up some paint and we'll demonstrate how well this airbrush paints. We'll get right back to you. Okay, we're back. Here we've got the airbrush all set up. We're gonna go ahead and just remove this cap cover on there. And I've got some paint here from Spray Gunner called Chroma Air. This is their in-house brand. And what's really cool about this paint here, it's a water-based paint, it's airbrush ready. Okay, so that's really cool. It's an acrylic urethane formula for most hard surfaces, all right? But this paint here, when you're finished painting it, you're gonna have to clear coat it to protect it. But this is a really good product and they've got all kinds of colors and they got a whole bunch of new stuff coming out. And I've got a review coming up on some of the paints here in the very near future. But check out Chroma Air from Spray Gunner. Anyway, airbrush ready, okay? Now this has a .3 needle. Now mostly when you're spraying the water-based paints, they recommend a .5, but you can use these paints with a brush that has a .3 needle. You may have to thin it down a little bit, but let's go ahead and check this out. Let's go ahead and put a little bit in there. All right, that'll work. Go ahead and seal it because if you're accident prone like me, you will spill it, okay? All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Good stuff there. Now this could be thinned a little bit, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. That that works fantastic. That works darn good. That's nice. That works really good. I like that. I like that. That's definitely pretty darn good. Now, one of the things I've noticed when I see some people airbrushing, when I'm painting, I'll go the entire length of the car to get a nice, smooth finish all the way across. I see some people airbrushing and they're doing this here and they're, you know, they're doing this, okay? That's not the way to paint, folks. You need to come in and get a nice blend all the way over, start away from the car, work into it, and then come down in, okay? I could have thinned the paint a little bit more, definitely. Now, if you look really close here, where I was doing that little mishmash there, you can definitely see a pattern there, okay? And that's what you're trying to avoid when you go to paint with a brush like this or any airbrush. You don't want to just dibble dabble inside there. You want to give it nice long strokes to cover everything that you're painting, okay? Now again, like I said, I could definitely thin this paint down a little bit because it is a .3 needle. But if you do, it's going to work great. Look at that one side that we already did. That looks fantastic. Let me zoom in here and see this, okay? That's really good coverage, and that's really only the first coat. You could definitely get a really nice paint job with this airbrush. Now I got something else I want to show you that's absolutely pretty cool. So just stand by for a second, I'll be right with you. Meanwhile, back in the graveyard. The compressorless airbrush is a fantastic deal for those that are just starting out. Now this is not made for big, huge projects, but it's really good for your die cast hobby. Again, it has a 0.3 needle, and it is uh, very lightweight and very easy to handle. But something else I wanted to show you, Spray Gunner also offers a compressor for your other airbrushes. 
Now this will work up to a 0.3 needle, which is really cool. Now if you have something larger like a 0.5 needle or above, it's not recommended for that because the opening in the end of the airbrush allows too much air to escape and it's not gonna build up the pressure you need in order to blow the paint. But again, this is for a 0.3 needle. Now, if, um, if you order one of these, you can also have it customized, like they did here with my Diecast Graveyard logo. And they also had my name engraved on the back of the compressor. This is absolutely awesome from the great folks at Spray Gunner. But what I wanna show you here, like I said, is you've got this compressorless airbrush. This one here is so you can run compressorless on your own airbrushes that you already have. Now, what's really cool about this is that it comes with a hose. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, put the hose on here. And I'm gonna set that down. Now here, I've got an Air Cobra airbrush. Now this airbrush has a 0.3 needle, but it's also available at Spray Gunner. This is a really cool brush, and I've done a review on this brush already. So let's go ahead and take the rubber cap off that protects the needle and the cap that protects the, the well that you put your paint in. Now, here's the other end of that hose, and it goes in just like so. All right, to turn the airbrush on or the compressor on, just push the button. Now, the hose is already pressurized, that's why it shut off. All right, now let's put something in the brush itself to show you that it works well. Here's some reducer. Look at that. That works absolutely fantastic. Now, once you mix your paints and you get them thinned down the way you need to, this will work great, all right? Again, this is made for airbrushes that are a 0.3 needle and below. So this is fantastic. Look at that. That works great. I can't wait to use this on a uh, paint job. But again, you can have it customized. And there'll be a link in the comments to take you to this section where you can get your airbrush compressor with the hose and have it customized to your logo or your shop name or whatever. Now I know a lot of you guys out there have logos, but this would be fantastic for you, all right? So check that out. So here today, we did a review on the compressorless airbrush. Now this is new and improved from the one they had a few years ago, which is really awesome. And now we have a compressor that you can get for your current airbrushes, so you can make it portable. And what's really cool about this is if you have to, you can put this in your back pocket and take it around to paint, paint whatever you need to. So this is fantastic, all right? I wanna thank you for joining me here today on Diecast Graveyard. This was a lot of fun and I look forward to doing some more reviews for you in the future. So this airbrush here gets two big Diecast Graveyard thumbs up. Thank you for joining me today on Diecast Graveyard. We've got a lot more videos coming up in the future so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you again for joining me here today. If there's something you'd like to see put it in the comments. Thank you and cheers.